Bruh. Nobody saw this coming. We got more info too. <laughs> We had a great time. Big news did drop specifically the Xbox Series X. Xbox's next gen home console was revealed, and the design a thing of beauty. I mean, they nailed it, bro. Was not expecting it vertical instead of horizontal, even though the consoles can be laid horizontal. It looks lit vertical, bro. The mesh at the top screams power. Speaking of power, that's why you clicked on this video. Um, the specs have been revealed and confirmed by Microsoft coming straight from their official website. The system will be four times, four times more powerful than the Xbox One X meaning this system is going to be a beast now they also said that they're targeting 4k 60 frames per second as their minimum bro i ain't playing no games at 30 frames per second no more 4k 60 frames per second as their target with the capability the possibility to run games at 120 frames per second 8k and so this is going to be a beast of a system. It looks clean. My only um, um, drawback is the name, Series X. Now, I'm thinking it's falling in line with the rumors of, the, of two consoles at launch. And this is just the title for the series. But each console is going to have an individual, a unique name. If the name of this one system is Series X, in my opinion, it's going to be some Wii U type confusion. Oh, already got a Wii. Why well, I need to buy a Wii U? Is that an add-on? I already have an Xbox One X. Why do I need to buy? What's a Series X? And so I'm hoping that they clarify, clean up the title and the name of the console a little bit. Other than that, dope, dope, dope. I'm liking everything about it. Also, it's going to have that solid state drive. Load times will be virtually non-existent. Speaking of load times, two things I want to do. Let's watch the trailer in this full, full glory and the, the game that was revealed. Let's watch it in its full glory. I haven't did this. I was out of town. So let's watch it. I'm going to share my thoughts. Um, um, we're going to pick up on something too. Shout out to the homie ASAP's little bro. Um, he said that if you watch the Sanua Sacrifice trailer, it gives you a hint of what the low times will be. Low times will be minimized next gen. All right, without further ado, cut the beat. Let's check out the reveal, bro. This is right after Jeff Kitty said, we got y'all. At first, I was like, what's going on? Because I was watching this on my phone. When I was like, Let's this. suppose that you were able every night to dream any dream talking. you wanted to dream. I know what, what in the world was going on at this point. And that you could have the power within one night to dream 75 years of time. I was just like, cool, I just watch it. I was like, okay, what's going on? Is this going to be a game? What and game? you would like, naturally, as you began on this adventure of dreams, what game is this? fulfill all your wishes. I tell you when I thought, uh, when I realized it was a console but now reveal. Let's, um, I tell you the exact Let's moment. have a surprise. He said, let's have a let's surprise. Let's have a dream which isn't under control. At this point, I still had no idea what was going on. And then you would get more and more adventurous. And you would make further and further like, out gambles games? as to what you would dream. At this point. Right where well, I was like, and finally, you what's going dream. on? Where you are now? What's going on? That's when I said, oh, it's a console reveal. Right when I saw that water cube, I was like, oh, no, they didn't. They revealed their console. And so I was like, oh, the Xbox Series X 
power at the top. What? What? So I thought the reveal was dope. It nailed it. Short to the point. But we have to see. I, and I think... Um, E3 throughout the year they're going to give us more information now the Senua Sacrifice I still haven't seen this in uh, like HD HD and this is all running in engine bro in engine Senua Sacrifice I got the game, the, the first one when it, when it was ported to the um, Switch I still haven't played like it in like full HD like how it's meant to be played I'm getting this on the Series X my opinion, I wish they would have showed like Banjo, new Banjo game, <coughs> Fable Four. They would have showed Fable Four. That would have been lit. But but look how clean this looks. This looks realistic, bro. Little creepy, but. In engine. It looks like a real person, bro. And one of the things about next gen, I think Xbox will be in better position to compete more first party studios. And so they'll have more exclusives, console exclusives. Of course, they have games on the PC too. But now even Sony putting their games on the PC. Um, but I think they'll be able to compete more with their first party exclusives. Um, it's going to be an interesting, interesting generation, man. Generation. But. Uh, to sum it up, I like, like, I like the reveal, man. I like everything about the system. And um, um, they did say, I'm, I forget if it was Phil Spencer or Aaron, I forget who from Microsoft said it, but the con, no, it was on their official website. But the console is optimized too for cloud streaming, for cloud streaming. I'm going to have another video up on my channel later on uh, just talking about cloud streaming in general, not just Xbox, but Nintendo, PlayStation 2. Um, but the system is optimized for cloud streaming. Xbox is doing the big um, X Cloud push. X Cloud push. I think they're gonna, they're gonna really push it next gen, where you can play any of your games. I'm trying to look for my phone on anything, on any device, any device, not iPhone. Bro, I'm low key thinking about getting a, a Samsung. Um, uh, not a Samsung, but an Android type device for X Cloud. Who knows what announcements they're gonna have in 2020? But X Cloud. It's going to be included with my Game Pass Ultimate subscription. It's a no-brainer, bro. I don't even have one ounce of interest for uh, Google Stadia. <laughs> it's a no-brainer for me. I'm, I'm, I'm so invested in the Xbox ecosystem. I didn't even pick up on the load. See what he was talking about, bro. All right. But I didn't even... Um, I have no interest in Google Stadia. It makes no sense for me, man. Um... I get all my games and the system is going to be you're going to be able to carry over all of your games from past Xbox generations come on bro all right dudes what do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video sound off in the comment section below I want to know but before you go bro click that subscribe button stay up to date all things gaming bro we out <laughs>